All right, today we're gonna to be doing a quick comparison of a couple 18 volt orbital sanders. Over here we have a Milwaukee M18, and this is model number 264820, and this is rated at a max of 12,000 uh, OPM. This is the Bosch 18 volt over here, and this is model number GEX18V52, and this is rated at a max of 10,000. Today I wanna to give you guys kind of a general overview of these two models and why I chose this one over the Milwaukee uh, 18 volt over here. You guys seen any of my other reviews you know i love the milwaukee tools out there i have a lot of milwaukee tools but when it came down to looking for a, a battery powered sander this thing just did not cut it for me so i chose to, to go to this Bosch route even get into a different lineup a couple years ago when i purchased this so my goal here today is to kind of give you a comparison of the two and why i think this is the better investment over this milwaukee equivalent over here so the first thing with all due respect to this tool this tool is kind of old this is five plus year old you know tool this is a brush motor this came out this Bosch 18 volt came out i want to say maybe a year and a half ago i've had it for a little bit over a year uh so it, and it's a brushless motor so that's the first biggest comparison between as a brush motor this is a brushless they're both variable speed you know this one has a little bit more max power you know like i mentioned there a minute it goes 12,000 versus 10,000. but when you're sanding something you're really not going to see that that little of a difference in the sanding in my opinion you might if you're sanding all day long and it might speed up something a little bit quicker but i, I don't think the speed is really that that significant uh my biggest thing when i looked at these when i was initially looking into getting getting one is how bulky this thing is now when you look at the the electric equivalents over here that you know i'm sure a lot of you guys have had over the years it's very similar to the setup here, except this thing is quite a bit lighter than what this is. Obviously it's a battery, so you have the extra weight of the battery and you know, the, it's got, you're gonna have some extra weight to it, but this thing is really, really bulky to hold. Now I don't know if you're supposed to hold it like this, if you're supposed to hold it like this, but any way you hold this thing, you just got all the weight pulling it down like this and it just seems very, very uncomfortable. Outside of sanding something for a couple minutes, holding this thing, to me is, is just very very awkward on how it is now if you come over here and you pick this thing up you can see it's just very very well balanced and it's and it's a lot more compact you know i'll give you a, a close-up picture of the side that this thing's probably you know half the size of that maybe and it just it just fits in your hand better you can get in you can see in very easily versus this thing you're constantly gonna have the weight holding you down over here so that's the first biggest thing when i saw this where i really wasn't a fan of that uh, that tool. If I was going to get something that bulky, I was just going to keep my regular electric uh, sander back there because essentially it's the same thing. And the argument can be made is this thing is a lot more comfortable to use than what this is. So that's the first biggest uh, comparison is really the size and the bulk and how they feel. The second is the vibration. If you compare these two, and I'm sure it has a lot to do with brushless motor versus the brush motor, this thing's going to vibrate your hand off. Again, outside of using this thing for a few minutes, this thing is going to make your arm almost numb how much it vibrates it, it reminds me of equivalent to you know some of these older ones that we've had for years how much they vibrate first you come over on this guy it's it's hardly no vibration at all it's hardly no vibration at all and, it, and it's actually hard to believe how comfortable this thing is so uh so that's that's really the the second thing as far as why i chose this the vibration hardly no vibration a lot of vibration in that Then finally, the, the third was really the cost. You know, at, at the time when I was looking at this, I was able to get this, this sander over here with a Bosch 18, 18 volt core battery. If you're not familiar with these core batteries, they're, they're pretty significant, uh, you know, as far as how si the size they are. So this is a 4.0 battery. That's essentially the same size as these Milwaukee M18 2.0 batteries. As you can see, that's essentially the same size. If you compare it to you know, the 5.0, you know, the 5.0 is actually quite a bit bigger as well. Now, obviously, there's, you know, this is a 4.0 versus a 5.0, so, you know, you get a little bit more power, but the size of these is very, very compact. So, uh, that was the other thing as far as the battery size. It's a little bit lighter to fit on this tool. Now, obviously, you could put, 
you know, the two, the 2.0 over here, but then that's going to cut down on, I'm sure the runtime of this versus a 4.0 versus a 5.0. Uh, but really the battery, another win, you know, when I was looking at this tool, uh, and like I said, when I purchased this, I was able to get this tool and a free battery and a charger for less than what this bear tool was over here. Uh, so it was kind of a no brainer for me. Now I will be very clear. I, my number one thing when I buy tools is quality. Second is price. If this thing felt like this, I would have had no problem paying the 150 for the Milwaukee tool. I already had all the batteries, but between the vibration, the comfort and everything with this tool, this, this is a far less superior product than, than what this is. And now with all due respect, like I said before, this tool is kind of old. It's five plus years old and this is a, a fairly new. So I wouldn't be surprised if that gets, you know, uh, uh, an updated version here, you know, pretty soon. But uh, if you're in the market today to get a, get a sander, I do not recommend this. If you want the Milwaukee lineup, stick with one of those electric versions out there. Do not go down this path on this thing. I think this thing really is very, very uncomfortable. Now, a lot of the reviews you're going to see out there, if you look at them, they're, they're pretty old, right? So five years ago, yes, that was the only option we have out there. If you look at some of the newer orbital sanders out there, specifically this guy over here, they outshine this Milwaukee all day long. So that was really, you know, kind of my third reason, you know, the tool was, was far superior in my opinion, not to mention I got a battery and a charger on the Bosch lineup. Uh, that was still cheaper than that over there. So it kind of sealed the deal. And then and, and since then, you know, I've actually purchased some other, you know, 18 volt, you know, Bosch, you know, items that I really like as well, because this little, this little battery here, it's a lot more compact. As I mentioned before, I'm not going to go through kind of a demo of these because, you know, it's just going to bore you guys with sanding a piece of wood that both of them are going to sand it the same. But don't take my word for it. Go to your local Lowe's or, you know, Amazon has them as well. I'll post some links below in the description. Check out this guy and I guarantee you pick this thing up and you pick this thing up, there's no way you're gonna go with that one, uh, that, that tool over there. If you're going based on vibration and comfort, uh, you're gonna take this guy over here all day long. So uh, I, I gotta give it to Bosch. They really stepped up their game uh, in the last couple years with a lot of their 18 bolt, bolt tools uh, and this thing was, was no exception there. So uh, I hope this information helped you out today. You know, if it did, you know, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, you know, please hit that subscribe. Uh, but again, I hope this helped you out, out here today and uh, thanks for watching.